Hey guys, welcome back. So I was sent a steam off. It's called gel removal system from the same company that sent me my new UV LED combination lamp. And you can see in the top right corner the video for that if you want to check that one out if you're interested in a new lamp. Anyways, we're going to go through this. I'm going to review it. So we're going to open up the box. I haven't used it. I've looked at it, but I'm just going to show you how it was packaged, how it came. And then we'll be doing a demonstration just to see how well it actually does remove uh, polishes. It says polishes or any gel products, obviously, that are soak off. But anyways, we're going to get started on looking at it. So, of course, this is the box. It says IBN Steam Off Gel Removal System. And here on the side, it says Steam Off Gel Removal System. It tells you the model, the power, 30 watt input, the dimensions. The manufacturer is Ice Beauty Nail Manufacturing Limited and place of origin is China. And then it's got a phone number and an email even. So and it says right here, steam off gel removal system, eight to 10 minutes automatic removal, easy and efficient. Say goodbye to nail remover wraps. Remove, remover can be reused. Okay, so we're gonna open it up. And there it is. It looks like they, I think they have white ones. And if I remember correctly on the site, and they sent me a pink one, which they have also. So this is what it came like. And it's in good, it's in good condition. It didn't get wrecked in the mail. It had a bubble wrap envelope around it. So we'll pull it out of the bag. It's got a Ziploc bag. Okay, so this is, first of all, actually, I'm gonna put this aside and we'll look at this in a minute. I'm just gonna see what's in the box. So in the box is the instructions, as you can see, and it just tells what it has with it. And it has a plug where obviously a steam machine, it says, so it's pointing to the plug in the steam machine, the top cover, and then it's got a cap and a plastic bowl right there. And step one, it says open top cover, take off the finger cap, which is, this is the finger cap, but I'll show you that in a minute and no more than five mils, so it says no more than that, of the gel remover in the plastic bowl. And there is a line that actually shows where the five mils is on that bowl. I'll show you that in a minute as well. It twists the finger cap back into position once you get the five mils. It says using more solution will create more excess steam and excess heat, so you don't want too much heat, obviously it gets too hot. Use only five mils of solution. If at any time the steaming process becomes uncomfortable to the skin, it says then please stop and cool the skin under cool running water. So that's why you only add five mils and you don't want to get it too hot. Okay, and then of course it says here to buff the nails first, which with any gel removals to soak off, you would always do that. And then step three, it says press the power button to activate the steamer, then wait about one minute for the removal solution to heat up. And then step four, it says when the steam light turns green, so there's lights on it, and I will show you that as well in a minute, uh, place fingers into the finger cap as shown within five to 10 minutes, the gel will be soft enough to be removed easily. Check after five as this may be enough, so you can check it at five minutes. So it's saying it, it does remove sometimes at five, which is great. The machine will sound a short beep after five minutes and one long beep after 10 minutes. So it's even gonna tell you when those times are up, which is a nice feature. If you feel discomfort, stop and cool the skin. That's where if you have too much product in there, too much acetone. I'm gonna be using, this is 100% acetone I'll be using in there. And they didn't send me that, but you can get it, uh, that at any drugstore, so. Anyway, so then it, then you use a pusher, it says, to remove the polish. And then it's just saying, of course, to re apply hand lotions and that because obviously you're going to dry out the skin. So then, of course, on this, it's just showing exactly the inputs and the power and all that. And that's it for that. And I see they sent me an extra. That's where you're going to be putting your fingers in. There's one already on there, but they've sent an extra, so that's good. And over here is the power cord. So there's a power cord for it and then obviously it's not the right plug-in for my country so I they did send the adapter I didn't have to get one which is nice so you just put it on there we go so now it's ready to be plugged in here 
So that's everything in the box. Now I'm just gonna remove it and we'll look at the actual steamer. Okay, so this is of course what it came with. This is the cap. So I'm gonna just pull that out. Okay, so that's the cap. That's just covering it after you're done with it. And here is the actual finger. So this is where you're putting your hands in, right? And that's where they sent me that extra one to, and it looks like it just, to open it, you just turn it and then you can remove that and put that extra one in. So that's that, okay. Now the steamer itself, I see they sent me, which is nice, they sent two little trays. And I don't know if you can see here, I'll try hold it for you. So here it says 60 mils, and then there at the bottom, there's a line and it says five mils. So of course that's the line you're gonna go to with the uh, acetone. So that's good, they sent an extra one. Of course there's the machine itself. And this is what they were talking about, about uh, this is obviously the power button. So you're turning that on. And when it heats up, this light will be on. And when it's steamed, it, right here, and finish is right here. So you're going to see those lights lighting up. I haven't turned it on yet. So we'll see how that works in a minute. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is just the bottom. Just telling the models and what not. There's just the name of it. So we're going to get started and we're going to try this uh, new steamer out and see how much I like it. I just realized I forgot to show you guys one more thing and there is the plug-in for the steam machine. So that's where you plug it in now. I'll be plugging it into the wall and getting started. Okay, so I just turned the steamer on and you can see that I have the power. Actually, I'll just show you here. And I'm going to be heating it up and it says when it turns green, it'll be heated up enough. So I'm just gonna put the little cap in. For, well, actually, first of all, I'm just gonna take my acetone and just kind of, I can see better up here. So we're just gonna pour that five mils in. There we go. And there it is, and I'm gonna put the just to put the cap on and turn it. So we'll do that. There it is. It's on, ready to go. So, so as you guys can see here, it is saying uh, power is light is on, heat is on, and now steam. Now when that turned green like that just now, that means it's ready for me to put my fingers in. And I'm just gonna put this one finger. I put. Um, base, uh, the polish, and the top coat in Silk Off Polish. I only did it on that finger because I'm redoing my nails and I just wanted to give this steamer a try and show you guys how it worked and I wanted to see how it worked. So we're going to put that in the light or in the steamer and then when the five minute timer comes off we'll check it and then we'll uh, put it in longer if need be. And there you go, there it is. And that was about eight minutes I had it. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way so that I can remove what polish is lifted up and show you guys. I'm just gonna bring it up closer so that you guys can see. And let's see how it took, pushed it up here. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm impressed. Look at how it's lifting it up really nice. I already like it. So, so I probably could have left it a couple more minutes to be 10 minutes and it probably would have lifted it, all of it up by the looks of it because at eight minutes it's pretty much lifted it all. So I'm just going to place it back in the steamer for another two minutes so we'll turn it on. Okay, so I did a couple more minutes, let's see. Oh yeah, that's gonna release the rest of it off my nail. So that's about 10 minutes and look how great it took it off. I'm really impressed. It's actually kind of funny because I do have an acrylic base under there because I am redoing my nails with an acrylic base and that's what I had in my previous uh, set. Anyways, it's funny but it's kind of it soaks some of that acrylic off as well. 
I'm just going to take some acetone and get that little bit off. So there you have it, guys. Definitely worth uh, purchasing if you want a steamer. And uh, I will have all those links below uh, where you can buy it. And yeah, if you don't want to uh, put the wraps around your fingers or file with e-file this is the way to go and i should tell you too i forgot to tell you guys before i stuck it in i buffed the nail first you always want to buff off the nail so it uh, has broke that seal anyways guys uh thanks for watching if you have any questions about it please ask below please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye